What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. We have some interesting stuff to talk about. Here we have a supply shock incoming for XRP, which is not very weird or rare or actually surprising because listen there is going to be a reason that xrp is going to fly up and this is one of them the supply shock that has been playing a big role for a while because there isn't that much xrp if you think about it because listen if you want to cover all the payments of the world the this like the problem that they're solving and then all the exchanges that are holding xrp and then all the people that are holding xrp it's not that much right and then also the, the XRP in escrow. So here we have a video showing you that there is a supply shock coming right on time. Everything connects. How weird is that? How can everything be aligning at the same time? The end of the lawsuit, um, XRP supply shock coming in, and then we have, and then we have all these uh, relistings of exchanges that they will have to relist XRP. It's all coming, guys. And when that comes, it's going to be crazy. It's not going to stop going up. So let's take a look. I've got to release their proof of reserves. So I was taking a look at these and starting off with Binance. You can see if you scroll all the way down, so you obviously you've got BUSD, USDT, Bitcoin. They've got about four billion worth of Bitcoin. So I was just looking for XRP to see what exchanges hold. So if you scroll all the way down on Binance, you can see that they hold about 30 million worth of XRP on the BNB chain, which is nothing. Um, I, I believe that's about 0.076% of the whole, uh, well, I mean, 100 billion of XRP circulating uh, 50 billion so if you double that it'd be about one uh, about 0.15 percent of the circulating supply I was looking at KuCoin no XRP held in their reserves Bitfinex no XRP held in their reserves Huobi OKX Bybit all the same picture so this is quite bullish you can see that Bitcoin is held by a lot of these exchanges and as you've seen with FTX um, any of these, these exchanges can essentially go bust at any second. So the, the likelihood of Bitcoin, ETH having a lot more down, downward pressure coming up in the next year or two is immense. Um, and you can see that the XRP price is being held up by real uh, investors, long-term investors. It looks like there's a supply shock um, that could happen with XRP. These exchanges aren't holding XRP. So it goes to show that I mean, the only ones Binance and 30 million is nothing for them when they're holding, you know, like I said, about 13, you know, billion of uh, BUSD, uh, 2 billion worth of ETH. So, um, guys, I thought I'd share that. That's quite bullish um, and it is good for XRP holders. Very bullish for XRP because supply shock is a real thing. If it happens, it's going to go very, very high. So, and that's the thing, right? XRP has many long-term investors as well. So it's not people who will just sell when we hit three or four dollars because we know that we can go much, much higher. And that is a good scenario for XRP. Here we have a very interesting video as well. We have FAM Public Bank of China is pushing for what a what they call a Ambridge project, which is essentially a CBDC to CBDC interoperable platform, which is a BAI, BAI BIS Innovation Hub project. Now, if you have been wondering about this, so let's take a look at the CBDC that they're using in China, right? It's the, Chi it's the Chinese Huan that they're using, the digital Huan. But to be able to transfer digital Huan to another fiat currency or digital fiat currency, you need a platform. So a lot of people may think that maybe the Chinese Huan is not made on the RippleNet or on the XRP ledger, but that's not the problem because, because Ripple found a way that even if they're not made or issued on the XRP ledger, they can still interact with other fiat currencies by using XRP as a bridge, right? So that is exactly what is going on right here. They are now in need of this platform. 
because how else are they going to transfer money cross borders right let's take a look recently actually not recently a couple months ago it submitted a proposal for example for third-party payments right uh, and i believe pboc is, is a bank that actually drafted and spearheaded the whole proposal yeah. so i haven't seen the language on the proposal but i think the fact that it's it's quite active in any standard setting bodies but also forums of uh like for example the bank for international settlements uh, settlements the pbo is extremely active in that in terms of shaping the conversations so i think in what, in uh, what, uh, in what the, way uh this is actually this is in one of the questions that someone asked uh the, the PBOC is pushing for what they call an M bridge project, which is essentially a CBDC to CBDC interoperable platform. And of course, the PBOC is working with the Bank for International Settlements, but it's also working with central banks from Thailand, central banks uh, from the UAE on setting essentially or testing rather. Thailand and UAE are Ripple partners, guys. Do you think that is coincidence? See, again, this is again proof that the BIS is, is going to use RippleNet. Because she's saying, she's literally saying, you can hear her say, the Central Bank of UAE and many other central banks and the Central Bank of Thailand, go look at those two banks, what they're using. They're both using RippleNet. So that's that's already proof that the BIS is going to use RippleNet as the Enbridge project. A DC to CBDC platform and functionality. And in fact, they actually just wrapped um, their testing uh, uh, I think a six weeks test on on the oh, area. Just, uh, just for us to understand, is is Embridge a BIS project or is it a PBOC project? So it is a BIS uh, project, but the way it's okay. framed from press releases, it seems that there's heavy collaboration between PBOC, BIS, uh, central banks from Thailand, UAE, and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. So that's quite interesting. Um, and that's and, presumably and from uh, that's presumably through the BIS uh, Innovation Hub, right? Right. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but that, that, that's kind of that's a great case study for how China, uh, the Chinese central bank is extremely active in standard setting. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to find out more uh, in terms of shaping standards uh, around SIFs. But that's absolutely a fascinating area for me to dive into. Uh, future research. And that's a question from uh, from Karim Ferhat. Just, uh, ju just on this, um, is Enbridge a standard setting project or is that a, 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 a pilot project? Uh, in terms of the BIS Innovation Hub, because as far as I understand, the Innovation Hub within the BIS is not really part of the BIS standard setting infrastructure. So can you clarify that? Yeah, so I, absolutely, I'll clarify. Uh, this is going to be a, sound like a call out answer. It's a pilot that's going to have standard implications, potentially, right. just because it's... A Crazy, guys. This is just insane. So it's still piloting, right? The M Bridge project. Why do you think because of the settlement, because of the lawsuit. So if the lawsuit is finished, you will see all of this going for a start. And this will go fast, guys. Fam, G20 Bali leaders, declarations, statements, and releases they met on November 15, 16. 2022 talked about cross-border payments, payments and market infrastructure. More down below on this. Now, if you think that we're connecting everything to XRP for no, for no reason, that's not true, guys. Listen, the financial system is on the brink of collapse. They need something new. This financial system is very, very old. That's why all they talk about right now is cross-border payments and a new financial system and CBDCs, right? Here you can see, again, this is on the government payments. So here you can see, again, they talk about that new financial system that they want to use, right? With CBDCs. And that's all... The proof, guys, United States of America in June, the Federal Reserve Board announcing that Federal Reserve Banks will adopt ISO 222 message format for the Fedwire funds surface in a single day implementation strategy on 10 March 2025. Insane, insane. So it's, it's, it's on the works, guys. It's on the works. And look at this. Even the charts are looking tremendously good of XRP. Here you can see a actually a bull flag coming from an insane pump, which actually repeats itself, right? That's how the market moves. You have impulse, correction, and then another impulse. And that's exactly what we're waiting for right now. That next impulse can send us over $200 if we get the same pump as before. So it's not 
fairy tales guys it's not fairy tales 100 plus is easy possible with xrp so be aware of that and be ready xrp looks ready for a big move here might be potential catalysts good analysis too many people think xrp price it is just about the lawsuit and i think you mean the court excluding secondary market sales the sec has a give up on saying all sales are securities so bill morgan a crypto enthusiast and lawyer also believes that the xrp price action is not confined to what happens in the lawsuit the lawsuit guys can be a major catalyst because that's when all the banks will start using it right because they can i just received tip off from a trusted source that xrp will be hitting ten dollars in 20 days now i don't know if that's true guys of course i am just showing you what is possible and someone saying this of course do not take this seriously and this is not financial advice but do not look weird when xrp hits these numbers it is not going to be weird and don't be surprised because it will definitely rise very very soon i have to admit i thought the world would turn on sbf and friends as soon as their outrageous fraud shocking incompetence and mind-boggling greed became clear I am completely baffled at the level of success the concerted whitewashing is achieving. It's insane actually guys how SBF is still not prosecuted, not being delivered as a criminal. They're protecting him and we can see that across the board. It's very very weird what is happening. Just be careful guys, don't let your funds on exchanges please. I've been saying this for years. I have been saying this way before any exchange collapsed guys don't put your funds on an exchange it's not your keys it's not your money thank you very much for watching this video guys see you in the next one cheers